Okay, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Great double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Our right, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful like Akim teaching this truth throughout the four ends of the world. All right. I want to say Shalom to the elect of Israel, the Bayath, the Shah, the Wada, the house of David. All right, the men, women, and children listening and learning. All right. The nation of Israel is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, including the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigner who looks as the heathen. But their, fa their father's line goes back to Jacob, all right, who was surnamed Israel. This is the brother Karatiza from... Men of Valor, Las Vegas camp. Back with another lesson today. And we're going to go into Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. All right. Lord willing, this is a quick and, and edifying lesson through the will and power of Yahweh B'Shem Shai. Okay. So we're going to get into it. And because this is going to be the judgment and um, uh, of one of the judgments of Esau Edom, when Yahweh when Yahweh Shai comes back, okay, he's gonna come back with with vengeance. And before I keep running my mouth, I'm gonna let the scriptures speak for themselves. This is Isaiah 63, and verse one it says, "Who is that?" Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? All right, and who's coming from Edom is Yahweh Shai. All right, this was a vision that the prophet Isaiah had seen. And on one side, you have, you have Yahweh Shai coming, returning to a Edomite ruled. Um, world, all right, an Edomite ruled system. This beast system is ruled by the so called white man, all right, Rome 2.0, all right. And, and on the other hand, you have the place you know where Yahweh Shai is coming from, all right. But I'll leave that breakdown. You know, to the apostles and elders, you know, you could look up, you know, from GMS. All right, this is Second Edris 6 and 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, and, and Yahweh Shai is going to establish that order. But when he returns, Esau is still going to be in, in, in the power seat. All right, but he's coming down to, to strike that rulership down. And and set up, all right, Israel. Jacob was sur surnamed Israel, all right, to rule the world after. All right, but first this destruction has to happen. It says this is that. Continuing on, it says this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. All right, glorious in his apparel. Meaning that Yahweh Shai is coming back in, in in his glorious apparel. All right. And in the greatness of his strength, he's going to be with, you know, chariots. Not only is he going to be in his celestial, you know, in, angelic, all, all, you know, having all power. Okay. <clears throat> he's going to also be with, with the army of hosts. Okay. The, the chariots of Israel, you know, are vehicles of salvation. Okay, this is a, you know, just to go into that glorious apparel. Let's uh, actually go to Isaiah 43, 40, 47 and verse 3 first. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as man. So he's saying he will not be in that terrestrial body. All right, let's get another precept on that real quick. 
This is from the Apostle Paul, 1 Corinthians 15 and 40. It says, there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of terrestrial is another. All right. We know that the celestial body is, you know, is perfect. You know, Lord willing, you know, we'd be the first fruits to get that. All right. That's what, that's one thing we're striving for, you know, to not be subject to this flesh. All right. Um, let's go into the inner linear. And celestial, the Greek. Strong's G, 2032. Epuranias. Epuranias. Existing in heaven, things that take place in heaven, in heavenly regions. Okay, going down of heavenly origin or nature. Okay. So that, that perfection, all right, but also, you know, the celestial bodies have, you know, abilities that we don't have access to right now. Um, and then just to prove the terrestrial, you know, what that is, you know, pretty much the flesh that we're in right now. Strong's G, 1919, Epigaios, Epigaios. All right, so existing upon the earth, earthly or terrestrial, you know, that's what we're in right now. But Yahweh Shai said he will not meet thee as a man, so he's going to come back in his glorious apparel. And how is he going to come? All right, Revelation. Verse 1. Or chapter 1 and verse 7, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him. Who pierced him? The Romans, all right? And, and the wicked two-thirds of our nation that, that you know, you know, uh, chose Yahweh Shai to be persecuted, <laughs> all right? And all, and, and said that, you know, let his blood be upon us for generations. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So he's coming with judgment. Let's actually go there. Let's throw that quick point. Okay, he's coming with judgment. And before I move on, let's go back. It says, behold, he cometh with clouds. He's coming with, with an army of hosts, an army of chariots. All right, that's what those clouds are, okay? The chariots of Israel, the so-called uh, UFOs, all right? And we're going to get more on that. This is Matthew 10 and 34. It says, Think not, I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, all right? And that sword is going to be, you know, a... Uh, UFO, <laughs> chariot, laser beams, okay? And him, you know, destroying this Edomite system, this beast system, okay? It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, and, and that, you know, also shows his strength, okay? And as an example of his strength, you know, in Revelation, the 19th chapter, it says that he um, has many crowns, all right? Meaning that he's going to take out every kingdom or every, you know, rulership that's on the earth right now. And he will be, you know, as it also says in the book of Isaiah, exalted alone in that day, all right? So it says, wherefore... Isaiah 63 and 2, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? All right. The apostles always, uh, uh, let me continue on. 
you know, red is, is symbolic, you know, for the bloodshed in that day. See, continuing on, it says, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. All right, and I will stain, and I will stain on my raiment. You know, the best example the apostles always bring up is that, you know, um, so I love Lucy, you know, uh, with the with the wine press, you know, they when they squish the grapes. If you ever see that episode, you know, it leaves a stain from the grapes. Now those grapes that the Lord is is uh, crushing are the Edomites. You know, and you can get that in Revelation fourteen chapter in the first fourteenth verse. You know, on down to the end. All right, along with the wicked of our nation, but, you know, you want to go into, let's actually continue on real quick. It says, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Okay? And, uh, let's get that here. <clears throat> let's get it. Vengeance. Come. Strong's H fifty three fifty nine. Nakam. Nakam. Second entry. Nekama. Nekam. Let's go into the root word. It says to avenge, take vengeance, revenge, avenge oneself. Be avenged to be punished. All right. So it's payback, man. How about Shemuel Al-Shah is going to get his payback? Okay. I'm going to read it. I have a, a New Oxford Annotated Bible. And it's a our Revised Standard Version. This is 2nd Edge, or my bad. This is uh, Isaiah 63 and verse 1. It says, Who is this that comes from Edom in crimson garments, from Basra, he that is glorious in his apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I announcing vindication, mighty to save. Okay, we're going to get this word vindication. And it means the action of clearing someone of blame or suspicion. Proof that someone or something is right reasonable or justified, okay, and what does he how about Shimei Al-Shai say? That he is uh, righteous and see, John 7 and 24 says, judge not no, that's not it. Revelation 19 and 2 says, For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore, all right, which did corrupt. And we know who that great whore is, you know, Babylon the Great, aka, you know, America, which did corrupt the earth for with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of the servants at her hand. Okay, so righteous are his judgments, okay? Vindication. You know, this is a righteous judgment coming from the Lord. All right. And it's gonna end. <laughs> you know, it's a beautiful thing. If you're an Israelite and you're a part of the elect, and it's you know terrible <laughs> if you're on the other side of it. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and his chariot is like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his 
rebuked with flames of fire. All right. That's how this war is going out, you know, with nuclear uh, destruction, nuclear war, Isaiah, the 34th chapter. All right. And Basra is what's being sacrificed. America is the altar, according to Isaiah 19. All right. And it says, for by fire. All right. And that fire also comes from the chariots. All right. Those laser beams. All right. But this is how the Lord is coming. Okay. For by fire and his sword and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Okay. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. That's where that, you know, meta, uh, metaphor in Isaiah, you know, 63 with the blood, you know, dyed garments from Basra. All right. But the slain of the Lord shall be many in that day. All right. And who's being redeemed? All right. His redeemed is only the elect of Israel. Okay. Everybody else is going to get judgment. All right. So, Lord willing, this has been an edifying lesson. All right. I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Hashem Rakakwadash. Okay, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. A shalom to the elect. Kwam Yasharala. And Wa Baal.